Hello, hello. Oh, that's it? There's no intro? Boy, it's been a while since we did Rayman. The last time, there's highlights of it up. We did Rayman on the PlayStation. And we had a hell of a time trying to emulate it. We had to uh, settle for playing the actual disc on the PS2, so it ended up looking very blurry and gross. But this is a little bit different. Rayman Redemption is, as I understand, a fan remaster that kind of picks and chooses the best bits of all of the many versions of Rayman 1, because it was on like, five platforms or something. It was on PlayStation, PC, DOS, Atari. I think DOS was the first one. Jaguar was reportedly the worst version. And PS1, I think, most consider the best. But there's little things that are different in all of the all of the versions. And this is a long-running fan project. You can see it's up to version 1.1.4. I've been putting it off because it has had trouble with my Xbox One controller. And it still is. That hasn't changed, unfortunately. It has controller support, but it's just not working for me. I've, uh, I've used Joy to Key to uh, remedy that. Uh-oh. You see, I say that, but it's not quite a solution, because I just accidentally... Accidentally spelled ass backwards for my username. How, how go back? I don't know how to go back. Oh. Well, I got different, uh, different difficulty settings. That's refreshing. Well, I guess, uh, I guess let me restart to get my name right. I don't like using Joy to Key if I can help it, because you run into little things like this that, uh... My movement is set to, uh, WASD, which will work once we're in-game, but for the menu... You know what? I should just navigate the menu with the keyboard. That's what I should do. Oh, well, okay, that works, I guess, fine. Uh, I could do Classic, which is basically the, the original game. One of Statues Grant Lives. I don't know entirely what's different, because a big problem with the original game was that one up Statues would not respawn, and you would the game would get progressively harder as you ran out of lives to get. I'm just gonna go casual for the, for the sake of the stream. Oh, there's new voiceover. The story of Rayman. In Rayman's world, nature and people live together in peace. The great Protoon provides and maintains the harmony and balance in the world. Sorry, folks, this apparently can't last. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the Great Protoon and defeats Batilla the Fairy as she tries to protect it. The Electoons, who used to gravitate all around it, lose their natural stability and well, that's scatter that effect. all over the world. Troublesome, isn't it? And untidy, too. In this now unbalanced world, strange phenomena begin to occur. Freaks and hostile characters appear, capturing every Electoon they can find. They definitely need a hero to save them now! Don't you think? Rayman to the rescue! No problem. It's, like, Go almost the PS1 narration, Electoons, Rayman, but clearly not. From its it, it sounds like someone related to the project but imitating it. Guys, let him do it. But maybe I, I, I don't... I'm not well aware enough of the history of, of this game. Maybe it's like the Jaguar intro. Maybe, maybe it had shittier voice acting. All right. So, a little bit different, 
whatever those four symbols are on the bottom are new. Those are not in the original game. Resolution is a little bit bigger. I think I'm set to uh, 1080. Looks great. Uh oh. Why am, why am I cons constantly moving uh, right? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out if Joy to Key is being weird or what's going on. Uh, you notice I have the helicopter. So in this version, you start with all of the abilities. What is this? How do I read this? Oh, and there's tutorial signs. Okay. Well, I hope the controls aren't being weird the entire game through. Because that would get problematic very quickly. Oh, the little extra... The two extra lives have different symbols now. In the original game, you would start the game without the punch, without the hang, the helicopter, or the run. Which also let me remap it to a different button than the usual... Uh, Actually, all of my buttons don't seem to be working. No, they are. I, I forgot how I mapped them, that's all. Okay, so this level is different. This is not the original uh, level one. They modified it a little bit to uh, give a tutorial for all of the commands and show off some things, like the invisible flags. Alright. I, I booted this up as far as the opening screen of this level just to see how it worked. I, I thought it was going to be a... Uh, a full remake of the original game as it was. But it looks like there are a good few number of changes. Hello, what are you? Oh. It's like a, it's like a director's cut. It's Rayman One, but more. I dig it. Oh, is that it? I just collect a token. I don't play as many games. Oh. You notice the uh, music effects are also different. I don't know if that's from a different version of Rayman 1, or if those are... I think they're a new and original. What are you? Okay. I don't remember if you could do that. I don't think you could do that in the original game. I think you'd only helicopter once in the air. And not, uh, continue doing it over and over again. I can't get, like, a uh, running jump or anything. No. So I guess maybe there are new abilities added to this game? Maybe this is like to Rayman 1, what uh, Lost Levels is to Mario, to, to Mario 1. That'd be neat. Though hopefully not, it's not as much harder as Lost Levels was, because Rayman 1 was already very difficult. I think if I remember correctly, in the original game, the run replaced that once you got it. But now they're set to uh, different buttons.
Oh, hello. This is one of my, uh... The original Rayman on PlayStation was the one I had. Is one of my all-time play uh, favorite platformers. Up there with Donkey Kong Country. One and two. Just because it, it looks nice, it plays nice, it's got really good soundtrack. He's got like a new fist animation too. I just caught that. Yeah, he's got like a, like a super wind up that lets you know when he's fully charged. Oh, there's three levels of uh, Sparkle Fist. I believe in the original game there were only two. A lot of new sound effects. I keep expecting things to sound the same, and then they don't. I wonder if I can change the difficulty every time I start the game, or if it's locked once I start a save file. If it's not locked, then I'll try, uh... I'd like to try the other... Like, I'll, I'll go a normal setting next time. And then the third one just sounded like Kaizo. Oh, you can't grab that. I wonder if there's any significance to those uh, rainbow tings. If those are collectible. <laughs> Or if there's any significance to gathering tings at all with infinite lives. The biggest thing I would hope for for this game is having a... Uh, having a regular ending and a 100% one. Because the original Rayman forced you to 100% it just in order to fight the end boss at all. And then it wasn't even a very good fight. It was interesting, it had phases, but you didn't get to, uh... You didn't get to fight the actual guy, you didn't get to punch the bad guy in the schnoz. And you gotta finish a game by fighting- punching the bad guy in the schnoz. Those appear from off-screen in the original. Or if that has to do with the new, uh, increased resolution. Also, remappable uh, buttons is real nice. I don't think the original game had that, but I uh, was able to remap my run to a shoulder button. This is very similar to the original level one. It's just remixed a little bit. Oh, hello, you're new. You were probably a cage originally. Okay, I, I got a shard of something. Still got my crawls. I don't know what Joy to Key was doing at the start of this, but it seems to be working now. got for me. This is where I would normally get the punch. Three toon totems and release the prisoners within. Oh, okay. It 
So th these are our things to get. It's not just a matter of, uh... These things are in Rayman's way on his stroll to Castle Candy, whatever. We got a new boss. I haven't played the uh, more recent Rayman games, like uh, Origins. But I've heard it's good. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah! Okay. So I wonder if those three tower things have to do with uh oh, magician. I guess it's uh I guess it's autosave. So instead of having to go through the level to do these little bonus areas, I just have to collect the token, and then I unlock one of these. I, okay, that's an interesting system. That makes it a little bit easier. It's also a, a different bonus level. This is not was not in the original game. A lot of new stuff here. What do you do? Oh, you throw fruit. I like that there are uh, collectibles and levels to unlock and things beyond just uh, the original game had kind of a, a Super NES design in that most things you were just rewarded with lives which were valuable in Rayman 1 because it was a very very difficult game and you actually did need lives quite a bit physics, and, uh, run and helicopter physics are a little different. Yeah! Originally, once you pressed it, you would just kind of be locked in it. At least for a little while. Now it's just as long as you're holding the button. There's a lot, a lot of little, uh, quality life improvements I'm seeing. Hello, big lord. I was going into this mostly blind. I looked at the... Okay, I still have to unlock them. I booted the game up and uh, launched the first level, and I figured it was going to be more or less just a pure remake of uh, the original game. I didn't know how many changes were going to be made, but I'm digging it. So I wonder, those three tower things, I wonder if those are where I now unlock new abilities. One of which is presumably the, the swinging, grabbing. And I guess one probably has to do with that spiral thing earlier. How do I, I... I gotta swing to you. I 
guess I needed that, uh... Maybe I could bounce on that flower enemy? The flower was new. So what version did, uh... What version did you play before Redemption, Big? I grew up on the PlayStation. Oh, hello. Why are you doing that? Rayman, please. Joy to Key is being weird. Sega Saturn. I know it was on a bunch of different platforms. I think the original was uh, DOS, wasn't it? Okay, can I jump on I cannot jump on you. Okay. I'm out of theories as to how I was supposed to get that fist. Start with every power is great. Yeah, I saw. I saw that. Well, everything except the uh, grabbing. But at least starting with all of the uh, movement options is nice. if, uh, is this game like the original in that, uh, lives don't respawn? Oh, we, we get dialogue added now. Or do the lives respawn when you reload a file? What are you doing? He just spit. soundtrack to this game. I know the music differed from uh, version to version as well. I think the DOS had the simplest soundtrack. I, mean, I think they added sound effects to the, uh, the PlayStation version. There are a few tracks in the soundtrack that are mostly just, uh, they're just kind of beats. Okay. No longer fist. Now spit. Rapid spit! What, what is that? Oh, it's super spit. Okay. We Toho now. Okay, that's annoying. The, uh, unless I'm mistaken, the gun enemy also doesn't seem to have the invulnerability frames that he had in the original game. Just whoop his ass whenever you want. Oh. 
I guess I don't need you, but it would have been nice. Gotta check for flags. Okay, no flags. You played any of the later games, Big? What is this? Oh, okay. You can level up your health. Only Origins. How was it? I couldn't get into 3D Rayman, but I never got around to trying uh, Origins or Legends. Add some, add some text boxes, make it a little bit less vague. Now what's this gonna say? Bag of magic seeds. Okay. See, it's using plural now. Uh, action button. Okay. For me, that's L2. I, I remapped some of my stuff. So, in the original game, when I was a kid, I... This was one of the levels that caused me a lot of problems. Because the dialogue said, A magic seed. Singular. And so I planted it, and I couldn't get any higher. I didn't realize I could plant it multiple times. Because it said, A seed. Singular. Oh, there's still some, uh, there's still some, like, armor. They got rid of the, uh... They got rid of the swaying animation. When these guys get something on their heads. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I guess, I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't need him. Don't forget this game is French, that's right. And the uh, soundtrack composers are a bunch of French jazz musicians. Which you can kind of tell they weren't uh, primarily video game musicians by how they don't really bother making it loop well. Ubisoft before they got a really big ego. Like, weren't they, they originally mostly just localization was what they did? shard of something.
Maybe there's stuff out there. There's always the chance for hidden stuff, Gray Man. Come on. Go on. Speed up. Yippee ki yay. Oh, okay. Well, do I want to go down there? Do I want to go right? I don't know. Everything's different. Uh oh. Well, hmm. There we go. The levels themselves are harder. It's a bold claim, given the uh, infamous difficulty of the original Rayman. Although it didn't really spike until, uh, World 2. Oh, I need it up there. I'm not gonna be able to get up there now, am I? Oh, great! Having infinite lives also helps dramatically, though. Also, it seems to be less knockback? Yes, way less knockback. A lot of times in the original games, the, you wouldn't run out of health, it's just the knockback from things would knock you into pits, which there are plenty of in this game. token. I wonder if it is, uh, I wonder if it's one per, one per. Four, five, six, okay, not, not strictly one per, but almost. There's almost one challenge per level. Lives do respawn. Okay, that's good. I went casual because I was worried, like the original game, they wouldn't. Which, as a consequence, made the game harder as you went on. Because you would get to the harder levels and you would have nowhere to restock on lives, because you would have already gotten all of them. You can switch if you want to. I, I was also thinking about that. It'd be good if you can. I'd enjoy, I'd appreciate that. Then what happens if you get a game over? I assume you just restart the level. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Oh, I didn't make it at all. Ow! I think that was the end. I'll try that some other time. What do I need? I need ten cages? Okay, I thought, well, I have ten. I like that. I like that there's a there's progression. As I said, the original game felt, despite being on, you know, Sega Saturn, Jaguar, PS1, it felt like a SNES era of game design. Oh, 
Let's see. Quick respawn, skin effects, skin effect. Oh, right, there's, uh... There's, like, skins you can put on Rayman. Zip. I wonder how I unlock these. I want to get them. I want to play as, like, other, other things. Oh, and there's achievements? Oh, no. I ain't got a code. I was just curious if I could, uh... No! Exit. I just want to change the difficulty. Oh no, it's set to casual. I don't think I can change it. Oh well. Knowing that lives respawn, I would play it on the on the normal difficulty, but that's all right, I guess. Casual will uh, casual will be fine for it'll speed up the stream. This is a new music track. This was not in the PS1 game. Do you know uh, do you know who the new songs are by? bit like, uh, it's a little bit between Rayman and Crash Bandicoot music. The game author. Is it all just one person? So the P always adds two above your max. Okay, so it was all made by the same guy. That's impressive. Thank you. 
feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I just missed a bunch of stuff. What if there's a ton of fan-made content already out there? For this? Well, like mods? I don't know. I don't know if this game's uh, easily moddable or not. I've never seen ROM hacks of the original games. Then again, I don't see a lot of ROM hacks of, uh, like, PlayStation games to begin with. In the original game, you could not kill this thing. Maybe you can after enough hits now? Oh, there it goes. Okay, there's mini bosses now. Yeah, that was always a uh, what the fuck is that moment when you ran into that creature. And it never appeared again anywhere else in the game. Oh, I did not notice the health bar in the corner. I'll have to pay more attention next time. Yeah, it's worth getting things even if you don't need them. On the off chance there's an invisible flag. Oh, I lost my fist. My fist is not gold anymore. I did set all the sounds to uh, the new ones so that we could hear them. It is neat in the sound settings how you can, uh, you can set them to any of the previous versions. In fact, you know what? Beep. What's beep? New and classic. Oh, I actually like the classic jingle a little bit better. Skit sound effect. Ting, that's the one. Okay, so it's it's the ting sound that has all the different versions. Let's play Jaguar Rayman. I've never played Jaguar Rayman. Oh, the fist sound is like a little, uh, it's lower def now. It sounds washed out. Where's the fruit? I need a fruit. Maybe it's over here. Maybe I didn't find the fruit yet. It does. I like the... It's not immediately... Uh... It's not something you would think of as a, as a good game mechanic, but the Invisible Flags makes Rayman a very unique game. And it does encourage you to explore, or just look for spots that looks weird or suspicious. And they're usually placed in, in reasonable spots, as opposed to, like, Donkey Kong Country 1, which would require you to make blind death leaps on more than one occasion, in order to find bonus areas. Now, how do I get... I want to get up there. How do I do that? 
Oh, I think I might know. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! They don't, uh, they don't flick you anymore. There was like a momentum flickage in the original game. life down there. Oh, I, I moved ahead. I'm past where I was. Oh, that, that sounds weird. That, I don't like that. Jaguar tings sound wrong. It's, it's like downward. It's like... Oh, hello. Oh, so he, he's being nice. He follows me at my pace. Whether I walk or run. He'll catch up to me if I let him. Okay, bye. You would have had me cornered, you idiot. Yeah, there's no flags. <laughs> you got any favorite music tracks? I think my favorite was always the, uh, the art world music, the happy, upbeat one. Art World had really good music, and uh, Bandland had some good tracks. Come on. There, there you go. creator of Ray-Ban has seen this. I think they got a hold of him for a Did You Know Gaming, so he's not totally reclusive or anything. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's it? That'd be cool if he liked it. I liked the... I liked the the, the style and the lore of this one. And then they kind of just, uh... They kind of just threw it out for the following Rayman games. You know why I loved Eat at Joe's? Oh, is that the... That was like a little uh, guitar or ukulele track, wasn't it? Is that the one? And it was the, ti it was the title theme on the Sega Saturn? What other Saturn games did you have? I, I never knew anyone who owned a Sega Saturn. Granted, I know Sega was, uh, I think, more successful in Europe than it was in America.
now he's doing the spin. See, if he were smart, he'd just keep doing that, because I can't hit him up there. And it would be called zoning. What do you got for me, Patilla? Oh, uh, what is that? Is that- uh, that's one of the tower things. Oh, okay. So that- that's- that's the unlock. Instead of unlocking abilities, I- I free the things that then float around. Wait, there was a back door. You could have just gone out this side. Tired of sad. Uh oh. What are you doing, keyboard? I destroyed a key, man. Yeah, but it's elevator tings. Japan tings. Oh, I was gonna change the fist sound back as well. That's a new, uh... I guess it, it didn't make a sound when you grabbed a ring in the... PS1 version. How many cages do I need? 20? 50? Okay, that's quite a step. Here we go. Alright. This was, this was where the game started. To, this was the spike in difficulty. Let's see how the new band landed. There's ground! Wow. I'm not just walking on instruments and music bars. There's like dirt. Okay, maybe this is the entrance. I, I gotta go to the place. I gotta go to the place where there's uh, instruments to walk on. Oh, hello. Get up there. Mega- uh, Mega Man. Rayman, please. Are you just- you just hanging out? Okay. He's the background object, I guess. How do I get down there? Can I get down there? Oh. Ah! Okay, I can, I can climb back up. I'm resilient. Now, here's something I wonder about. Alright, stand still. Stop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's still some, uh... There's still momentum from punching. Oh, and here's the... Here's where the... No, this isn't the start of the first level. This was... 
This was where level two of Band Land started. It was on these, like, uh, music clefts. It's, it sounds like I'm breaking the rings. Like, there's, there's a crack. Oh, the momentum. It feels weird. It doesn't feel like the PS1. Maybe this was where level one started? This looks familiar. Or is this level two? Well, Japanese tings sound kind of sad as well. They're so, they're so bright and happy in the original game. But they weren't allowed to be happy in Japan and on the Jaguar. Hello, Sandy. I'm sorry, Darian. Come on, change me back. There we go. Again. I don't know why Joy to Key is doing this. Well, it's going well, other than that this game doesn't support an Xbox One controller. And Joy to Key is doing really weird stuff. Whenever I pause, only when I pause for some reason. It'll go fine for a bit when I'm playing. But then I pause and it's holding a command. And I don't have any keys sticking or anything. That's the PC. It's just a, it's a wood block. I, I'm fascinated with all of these clearly worse ting sounds that all the different versions got. Where do you go? It's like it's like bubbles popping. It's like little big planet collectibles. Melody. Oh, from the from the Ting collection, that's right. Okay, that that's that's a very good point. You don't get the you don't get the melody that the Tings make. I'm just gonna set it to new. I assume new maintains the melody, like the PS1 version. They were, uh, they were clouds in the original game. I guess they're just, they're symbols now. I wonder if the 
clouds are still there in the uh, the cloud level with like the monks and everything. The monks who have, by the way, legs, but no arms, for some reason. Uh, where am I going? There's just a little bit of ground here. Okay. I like this. There's a lot of new areas to explore that were not in the original game. Are there any uh, really notable Castlevania fan projects that you can think of? Yeah! <laughs> there are themed clouds in every world. Uh, oh, okay, okay I, I get it. I guess that's right, they were clouds in every world, even in like the Blue Mountains. Oh, yeah, there's blood stain that kind of sort of counts. I ask because Darian is a big uh, Castlevania fan. What are you? It's it's like a little mini version of the Thunder Giant. Can I beat you? No. Not at all. Okay. Ow! You hurt. I missed some stuff. I think. The Castlevania 1 remake? use these guys a whole lot more. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not particularly fond of bouncing and waiting on these guys. Although I guess it makes sense given that this is uh, Bongo Hills. Ow. I went up there. How do I get up there? going to be the place that I float over to. It's surreal. It's, it's different from the original game, but it's similar enough that you can recognize levels and areas. Simon's Quest ROM hack that was similar to Zelda 2 Redux. Interesting. Yeah, 
Hey, you can't get me. Neener, neener. Stupid fly. Well, with running, running the helicopter, you don't even need half the platforms. That's a very, uh, lo-fi sound effect. The fart rocket. It sounds like someone breathing heavily into a microphone. Or like wind in a microphone. Okay, I need a rocket up here. It's nice. Invisible drum. Oh, what, uh, do tings have use on casual mode? They do. Okay, so I, I will reach a point in the game where I can spend tings on things. originally. Were those drum platforms? I think those were drums. The xylophones are new. Also, the maraca physics are less forgiving. The original, well, the PS1 version. They were green, and they would just pretty much just keep going up forever. Now in this one, if you uh, if you hit something, it does that, and then it explodes a short time later. Oh, there's something down there. How do I get down there? Am I gonna have to crawl? played God of War. I was kind of I was kind of interested in it. I just never got around to it. I never owned one. Uh Okay. Maybe like this. Ah. I think I need to get on that uh I think I need to die. I think that's the plan. Ow, hello. Ah! I don't like those guys. I need to go over. Damn it. You can take out the eyes. Or, like, punch them? Ah! Yeah. 
Methinks perhaps I do not need to reach that ledge. And I just need to jump. There we go. I was very much overcomplicating that. This fucking guy. Alright, he's gone. I just, I, I, everything's new. I gotta check every lip for an invisible flag all over again. It's like I'm playing for the very first time. I don't know what I'm getting, but they must be good. Ow. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I thought he was talking about these eyes. I was gonna say, I can't get rid of those guys. Okay, so I need to. F I freed the rings. I need to free some spiral things, and I need to free a, some balls. How, how, how do you take out these guys? Because punching them is not doing anything. Some you can't because they're in a wall. Okay, I thought they were all in the wall. always take them out. I've never taken out the eyes. That sounds violent. What was that? Nothing? What was the question mark for? game, I would want to go down there. So let's see what's up here first. The checkpoint suggests that this is probably the way to progress. Ow! That's a bad lightning bolt angle. The bullets no longer swing hammers at me. Thank you. 
there already? I don't know if I swung on those. I don't believe I did. Okay, well, I was not at a point that I needed to yet. Oh. Ow. Uh, yeah, this level is about how I remember it. There we go. Bongo effects remind me of Emperor's New Groove. I too grew up on the Emperor's New Groove on the PlayStation 1. Mayhaps I should stream that. I remember the game had a very Latin jazz soundtrack in accordance with the movie. Yeah! I liked it though. It was a good, uh, one of a handful of good movie tie-in games. I also had Bugs Life on the N64, which was not, not as good. And I think I had a Toy Story game on the PS1, which I barely played. Oh. Wait, what? How do I... Oh. Okay. In the original, he was invincible, and you just kind of snuck through his legs. Now I actually have to fight him. And he's a big boy. Oh, that's right, there is a, there's a life bar. Added mini bosses with life bars. Where's the lightning bolt coming from? His eyes? Also, what is he? He doesn't seem to be music instrument based. It's like a Dark Souls boss! He's a punk. Oh, okay. A, a punk is not an instrument, but okay. It's like uh, punk.exe. It's like the lightning bolt is every other attack. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I just have to watch for it. Also, he's just immune sometimes. Boy, I'm not very good at this Dark Souls thing. I think he's getting too close. I don't like this. There he goes. Jerk. Oh, I can't go back down again? Hey, I killed your dad. Tiny for that. Ah! I don't like these guys. In fact, I rather dislike these guys. But, but how do I get small?
be up here. Ah! No! Ah! I don't like this at all. What? What is this? This sadism. I wonder if I get something from beating all of them. Just staying true to the original game. What? Th those weren't in the original game. Unless you mean being unforgiving. That's true to the original game. Can I can I hurt the innocent eyes? No, they they're immune. Oh, this was the way to go. Well, what was the other way now? I guess I'll never know. Yeah! Oh, there's different, uh... Okay, so ha total, complete, got everything in the level is gold. The shop. Oh, this is where I spend things on things. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough... Mmm... Tings. Loaded gold fist. Ting magnet. Oh, so that's like a, a permanent upgrade. Blue Ray Man Vortex suit. Heavy metal suit. Super heli. What is that? What's the super heli? Skin for checkpoints. How many tings do I have? Plenty of tings. I will buy a snack checkpoint. And I guess I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be metal. I like the metals. Alright. Prepare yourself for menu shenanigans. Nope. Are we good? It didn't freak out this time. Kinda looks like an Incredibles character. So I wonder, I wonder why the Bzzit has his own skins. He must come back to some significant degree in levels. Also, it'd be nice if this screen showed me how many cages I had. Just for reference for Batilla. Here's the level start that I was thinking of. Oh no, I want those. It, it's weird. It's like it's like a bootleg Mega Man. Like this is the Mega Man that has a game on the Android App Store. I want you. How do I get you? I have to. I have to jump up from elsewhere. I like this level. The momentum stuff was always cool. If, uh, you know, you don't fuck it up. Oh, I needed to... I needed that. I needed to get up there to get the thing. Is it just forever out of my grasp now? No, no, I, I can go back. Alright, here we go. Maybe. Maybe not. Ow.
I'm assuming that's where you have to get up there. Unless it's not momentum based and I can just platform over from here. Yep, okay. Well, that makes it way easier. Was it with cartoony platforming games being so hard? Like, uh, h h how do you mean besides Rayman? Like, uh, like Cuphead? I guess that counts. It, is it, it's not really a platformer, though. It's a shooter with minimal platforming elements. I guess Crash Bandicoot is the example people like to bring up. Though I don't think that was anywhere near as hard as Rayman. Like, R Rayman was one of the reasons I didn't really consider Crash hard, because I played this. I guess Mega Man counts. It's kind of, it's ca cartoony-ish. Platformers in general were just hard back in the day. a uh, much more forgiving series of platforms than the original game. Also, much lower speed. Oh, hello! I lost a lot of momentum. Suddenly, I'm non, uh... I'm on non-slippery. He's got the color scheme of, like, uh, like Metal Man. For Mega Man. I guess that was an achievement. That that was an impossible jump. It's a way slower than in the original game. Actually, I keep expecting it to go fast, and then when it doesn't, it's messing with my groove. Oh, what? It looked like a perfect hill to slide down and jump to somewhere, but there was nothing there to jump to. this game there is in this new version. I'm hoping there there has to be more to the Mr. Dark fight. That feels like a given, given how lacking the finale of the original game was. What my fist is red. I just caught that. Is there both uh is there a non-100% and also a 100% ending, Big Lord? Because the original game forced you to 100% it before you could even fight 
the, the boss. I can make it. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. There's probably something cool up there. Alright, and then maracas? Nope. No maracas yet. Wait. No nope, rings. Alright. That's fine. The maracas were also kind of overused. I don't remember, but I don't think you need 100% to access the ending. That's good. That was another thing that I'm sure kept a lot of a lot of players away from the game. Thank God for less knockback. skin looks badass. It kind of, I mentioned it looks like uh, Metal Man. Uh-oh! Okay. Interesting grab. I'll take it. Eh. Eh. I think we've heard any, uh, we haven't heard any new music tracks for Bandland yet. If there are any. I'm alive, somehow. I don't like this section. I don't like this at all. I have to go slow. Japanese mayonnaise to try because I heard that it was uh, I heard it's supposedly way better than the American kind I tried it today and it's uh, it's like halfway between American mayonnaise and uh, Miracle Whip it's just a little bit it's like smoother and sweeter Oh, ting, though. This game's music was always weird because it uh, cycled through multiple music tracks. They were often very different from one another, like these two that had just moved between. And 
There's like Dizzy Heights song. And then the jazz saxophone. spawned uh, platforms. Oh, a platform. I wonder if that new... I wonder if Crash 4 uh, rewards you. For playing with lives or not. Because I know they're optional in that game. You can either set it to infinite lives or you can have it be more traditional with lives and game overs and everything. I was looking up the... pulling up the soundtrack. I have it on my hard drive. I want to see the names of some of these songs again. That's it? There's nothing down here? songs in this level are Fear of Heights and Blazing Brass. Oh, there you are. Ah! Wait! Causing discord. I get it. It's a music pun. The mighty saxophone. I guess that's it. Just two hits and he gives up. The level layout is, is the same. It's still usually branching paths, and you can uh, you can go ahead to the next area before cleaning out one area completely, necessarily. Here they are. These Rayman World monk fellas. Uh-oh. Controller, what are you doing? Okay, it was forcing me to go right for a second there, which would have been a very bad time to do so. These monk fellas with legs but no arms. It's easy to just not think about until you think about it. types of bouncing clouds are also new. They were uh, momentum based in the original game. I guess this is a, a little more consistent.
I wonder if this started as like a, a ROM hack, or if it was always just coded in its own way. Because this is a this is a standalone executable that you can download. It doesn't require any uh, existing versions of the game to run, so it's not a hack or anything. It's a shame that uh, it's a shame the original Rayman isn't on uh, Steam. It'd be cool to have it available there for people who just want to play it, and maybe haven't been introduced to it yet. Now, even better if uh, you know Ubisoft contacted this guy and just put this on Steam. Unfortunately, game companies tend not to work that way. game, there were also monks that, uh, that threw balls rapidly. I believe those, excuse me, those swinging balls are replacing some of those monks. But maybe we'll get to them yet. Maybe we'll still get to see ball monks. Meditating Monks, or Mysterious Gong, it's one of those two. Yeah! Oh, hello. You're new. Mr. Dark's reign is disturbing the peace of Gong Heights. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is new. almost bad. Well, it's a good thing that uh, this monk did not rid himself of all worldly possessions, or we'd never have these rings. I want you. How am I gonna get you? By, by leap of faith. That's how. Hey, idiot, jump on in. I guess not. I like this, that's a cool mechanic. This is something Sonic could have. Oh, oh damn it! I'm guessing I cannot make a full rotation. Oh no, I can. There were some, uh, the original Rayman had some, uh, swing rings that you couldn't swing back and forth indefinitely on. Because you would bop into something and you would, uh, break off of the ring. I thought maybe that was one of these. Oh, now I don't know which holes I can jump down and which ones I can't! Oh, okay. Time to explore. There is. I can jump down that hole. There's a lot- there's been a lot of those. Although I guess it's just, uh, I guess it's not really, uh... It's not really a secret. It's just a safety net. Oh... 
I didn't I didn't have a safety net that time. Oh, what's that? It's gold now. What's it mean when it's gold? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm good. No, I'm not. It's probably just tings. I'm just curious. Yeah, you just get tings from getting a cage that you've already gotten. Again? I'm doing bad at this part. Why, why even grab? I don't need to grab the thing. I'll just float down. That's much safer. I did, his fist is metal. I thought it was just red, but it's got like uh, it's got like metal bits or barbed wire on it. so easy to slam dunk yourself with those rings. Wait, how'd I get here? Oh, I guess this is where I was. So that's how you get to it, okay. Ah! Man! Things. It, it was just tings. No, wait, wait. Ooh, I gotta fling myself. I gotta go far for that. Here we go. Nope. Oh! I, I think that maybe it's enough momentum. No, it's not. Because this is a standalone executable, I couldn't save state even if I wanted to. I can't rewind. I cannot pull the Zelda 2 cheese. Come on, you can make it. Yes! Yeah! 
Oh, hello, you're new. Who are you, cloud friend? It's all. Oh. oh no, I want that. It's like the boss of all the all the evil eyes. His sprite looks a little bit less polished than the rest of the rest of the game. It's a little bit MS paintier. Oh, that's bounce cloud. Well, why why would I run? There's like stuff to collect. I want to be sure I see the stuff. See like that. I don't want to run past- Ah, oh, I ran past that! I, I need to die now. No! Let me die! I wish to restart. It- it denied me. Death. Mosquito Sonata. Oh, okay. So now there's new, uh... There's, like, mosquito additional levels. I, t I would normally hold auto fire, but the noise is going to get very annoying if I do that. Oh no, I wanted that. <sighs> it is it is very Squidward footstep soundish. destroy you. No, get in there. So what I miss? I miss the magician's token. Brown looks great. Yeah! It's kind of bizarre that those cloud fellas were so <laughs> less quality than all the new other other new assets. Let's get another skin. <laughs> How we unlock these? Get designer, and I'll get super heli. Huh. Interesting color scheme. Mr. Sex is hullabaloo.
That sparkle sound effect also kind of reminds me of Emperor's New Groove. Maybe we need to get a one-up or something. What is his fist? His fist is purple. It is a pimp smack fist. I didn't jump big enough. Maybe I did. Oh no, get me up there. There was a cage up there. Oh no, I get ha. You gotta get the momentum stuff just right. Or not. Well, I don't know if I'll be 100%ing this on stream, but it'd be at least nice to get the minimum. Yeah, there we go. Nice to get everything I see. <laughs> Spike feet. Abundant checkpoints, at least. I appreciate that. Just stand under that. I can when I'm small. I can just I can just beat the tar out of him. Put this guy in charge of a uh, Sonic Mania style Rayman game. center, like in the original game. Ah! Let's find out. I can. You never knew that? How did you, uh, how do you, have you played the original game? You said you had it on the on the Sega Saturn. The one part that symbol guy showed up in. I guess you just tanked the damage. Hello. Do you go up to God? I remember the part where you go up and you meet God in Rayman. I, 
remember spending a very long time getting the momentum of these right to get up there. This looks like this. I think this is the place. We're gonna go have a, have a very religious experience. Come on, get up there. Yeah. No! A little more. Hello. Cool up there. No, I can't get up there. I feel like that was a lot more forgiving than the original actually was. To get up to Mr. Cloudface. Here we go. Here's the maracas. I'm gonna have to get up there for the present. Well, I should have streamed this for Christmas. Zelda 2, I go down a chimney. Rayman, I collect presents. Oh, I can't be down there. That makes sense. part where you had to ride the long maraca chain. Twice. Once big and once small. That was a real early dick section of Mega Man. That was mean. Mega Man. Rayman. Different game. One of them shoots bullets. One of them shoots fists. Which is unfortunately why I'm not very confident in Mega Man for Smash. I said it again. Rayman for Smash anymore. He was one of the characters I would have thought had been cool for a while, but... Uh, now that Min Min's in the game. His base gimmick is kind of taken. So I think that uh, hurts his chances. Mr. Friendly Eye, I, I appreciate that you don't shoot lightning at me. Oh, why did I do that? How come that narrow pit allows me to die, but the previous narrow pit in which I sought death denied it to me? I'm aware of Brawlhalla. I'm aware Rayman's in it. I haven't, uh... Is that Ubisoft? Did they buy that game? We played it back when it was, uh... in beta. Before it went free to play. We actually paid for Brawlhalla. For early access. I think there's a couple streams of it on the channel. It just didn't have enough variety to keep me interested. I enjoyed it for a little while, but... Same kind of issue with speedrunners. Although I think I enjoyed speedrunners a bit more. They both just didn't really have enough content to keep me coming back, though. There's Brawlhalla. The characters are basically just combinations of weapons, and there's only... At the time, there were only like five weapons in the game. So, functionally, there were only five characters. Okay. 
And there were little character-specific moves on top of that, but very few of them. It was, it was incidental, didn't really make a difference. It was not nearly the variety that you have in a game like Smash. Speedrunners we got, we got more out of. I would love for uh, someone to make another game like Speedrunners. With a little more... Uh, I don't really want... I don't want to say depth, but... I guess, yeah, it, it, did, it did need a little bit more depth. More levels, I guess. It was a very, it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. You just, you played all the levels quickly, and even on different levels, they they started all feeling very, very samey. Even the, even the user-made like workshop levels. I'm not, I'm not good at this section. That was also kind of a YouTube baity game with speedrunners. Okay. So the rocket maracas are brown, and the the maracas that just dip are green now. Uh oh. I'm not regretting those infinite lives right now. Checkpoint placement after a difficult section. Also, these guys barely appeared in the original game. They were just on one map immediately before the, the saxophone boss. In this game, they're sprinkled around a lot more. It's like fighting a, a, a bigger, meaner Rayman. He can also only throw his fist out at an above-ground level. And put me back in, coach. I, I wanted those. Ow. Man! Survived. Barely. Thank you. 
Needed that. Oh, there's eyes now. Interesting mechanic of Rayman. The aerial fist, as long as you start a fist in the air, it's at full power. Like if you had charged it up fully on the ground. Oh, hello. Mr. Saxophone makes rude noises. Those are new. No, I want that. I need that. These, uh, well, new, quote unquote. They're just miniaturized versions of the bigger note. The bigger note spikes, but they were not in the original game, the shrunken ones. He's too far away, I can't even... I'm not getting the, the early hits on him. I'll let him catch up a little bit. There you go. What's the matter? Can't jump? So they don't bounce in this version. That makes them a little bit harder, actually. I have very little time to fire that back at him. Interesting how the uh, boss fights are in these, like, uh, narrow... These kinds of narrow screens. It doesn't take up the full screen width. Did that count? Was that a hit? I guess it was. This is a new attack pattern. The spray. Oh no! How dare you! Get out of here! The scatter bombs and the ground bombs were in the original fight. The spray attack and the stomping are new. This guy was always tough. Eh. I think the bosses in the original game got harder as they went on. I think Mr. Stone was uh, tougher than this guy. Space Mama was a huge pain. 
This is the, her final fight. And, uh, Scorp, the dragon, was also very nasty. Space Mom and the Scorpion guy were insufferably difficult. And then Mr. Dark, the gauntlet, just kind of wasn't... The final gauntlet was a comparatively easy fight compared to the actual bosses that came before it. In my opinion. Ah, that got me a second time! If I'd gotten some more of those uh, early hits in the walking part of the level, this would be easier. I'd have, I'd have fewer hit points to go through. I'm very curious what the uh, actual Mr. Dark fight in this game is. I was thinking this sounds this sounds similar to the title theme of the game. It's not, but it's got some uh, some similarities to it. Alright, four more. Splatter and then the, the splash bombs again. I think I got him. There we go. The Mighty Saxophone. Wait, is that his name now? Is he not Mr. Sax anymore? No, the level's still Mr. Sax. <laughs> they call it the saxophone. Lonely Cliff. Oh, this is... Uh, wait, what? Oh, this right. Mr. Sax wasn't guarding one of the... one of the three tower things. So what's this up here? What's... what's up here? I... I, I look like Batman. I... I look like... A, I, I should be looking over Gotham as Rayman. Okay, so this is a comeback later place. Once I unlock the spring things. And presumably whatever the third thing is. Now, how, how, how do I leave? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I have to use the escape key. I can't actually hit uh, start to pause. Actually, I could bind it to that, I guess. I'm at a little two hours. Uh, do I want to start the Blue Mountains, or should I save that for next time? How many cages am I at? Not not 50 yet, I don't think. I'll go do some more of the... I'll just do some more of the challenge levels, and then I'll stop. Electoon's Octave. Alright, so I got three new ones. I'll try this one one more time. Two 
there? There's not. What were you collecting in the original bonus games? They were tings. That's what it was. Alright, 30 seconds. There we go. Wait, s s seven? What did I miss? Where did I miss it? Hello? Where are you, little ting? Oh, it could be anywhere. Was it like right at the start? It was. <laughs> I was inches away again. I finished with like 20 seconds to spare. Or I got to the top with 20 seconds to spare. Missing you this time. This music crack sounds a little bit different than it was in the original game, but I can't tell for sure. Maybe, I think it's been extended. Uh-oh. of minigames? Potion type. What, what did I just get? Well, it wasn't the ability to swim. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the seeds. fairly complex maps for, uh, bonus games. So I don't have to collect anything, I just have to get to the end in time. I had seeds? What happened? I think I was just pressing the wrong button. Wait, I need you! I think... Yeah, I do. I can't plant seeds on this. Oh, it's not gonna respawn. Ah. Get out of here. Be free. Uh... Hmm. 
Now what? Oh, the plant. That's right. I'm dumb. I also keep pressing the circle button. Since that was the action button in the original game. What? Wait, I can't hang from that ledge or I fall in the water. did it so easily the first time. So I guess the potion types involve some kind of power-up. Probably gonna get an infinite helicopter one, or a flight helicopter one at some point. Oh no, C come back. Other way. We're good. This is fine. If there is one. Oh, those are enemies, that's right. Oh, man! I'm gonna do it. I'm not giving up. I guess the track didn't need to be that long in the original game because the uh, bonus games had such short time limits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No, go back. Other way.
I started playing the uh, Hat and Time Death Wish challenges. And those are damn hard. You, unfortunately, usually in a tedious way. Like, I, I beat plenty of hard games, including the original Ray, Rayman. And I could beat most of, most of those challenges, too. It's just a lot of time commitment. This isn't that... No, this isn't, te this isn't tedious. I, I wasn't suggesting that. This is way easier than most of those Hat and Time challenges. What did I get? Where did it appear? What happened? Uh... Something appeared. Uh... Go back or rather forward. I don't know. I'm going forward. Here, this is forward, right? Oh, the fruit. Ah! No! Okay, maybe this is a little bit tedious. level will break you. Is this one of the hardest uh, challenges? I'm fine. We're good. Uh, even in these bonus worlds, they use the, the invisible flags. Oh, you just damage boost. more is there? Is there a lot more? Yeah. 
let's come back to that. I'm down for a speed run. I can do that. Just gotta hold forward. Nice and easy. Except when there's a rocket, then I stop holding forward. Well, that, that, wow, that was it? That was easy. And that comes after the previous one? Seven out of nine. Okay, I missed one. I like this level. I like I like the momentum stuff in this game. seeing it. Oh, really? You mean, you cheeky bastards. Is, is there a, re a quick restart? I don't think I'm gonna make it now. I don't actually need to be holding the run button. Everything is, everything is down to the momentum of the horns in this level. I really need to get them right, though. I'll bet it's faster to just not go back and forth on those, uh, those three horns. I feel like these sections are what Sonic games should feel like, ideally. Uh-oh, no, 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 I'm dead. That's it. Stupid trumpet. What else Rayman does besides the fist thing, having not played Origins or Legends? If he has any other notable uh, powers or mechanics that would translate into Smash. 
Well, helicopter here, yeah. I mean, in terms of, like, attacks. Okay, there we go. That's the run I wanted. missed a couple so far. He throws energy orbs in the sequels. I know he does in Rayman 2. Which I didn't like, because that kind of took away his whole fists thing. It just turned him into, into a platform shooter. It felt... Rayman 2 felt like a, a watered-down Ratchet and Clank. Like, it wasn't quite there yet for me. Well, I got two worlds done. I got some, uh... I got some, uh, bonus levels done. I'm having fun, though. I'm enjoying this. It's everything a fan remake... A, a fan... Remaster? I don't even know what you call this. A fan extension should be. A director's cut by a new director. But I'll come back to this soon. I'll do more of it. I'm probably gonna start a Zelda Ocarina randomizer soon. And, uh... See how much, see how they changed the other two worlds. I'm looking forward to Artland. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.